Hi everyone, in this video we're going to become familiar with uh, my math lab and what you should be doing each week. So the first thing we want to go to the website www.coursecompass.com Okay, and this is assuming you've already registered and we're just going to be signing in. So I'm going to take a minute and sign in. Okay, when I initially sign in, all my courses will pop up over here. I'm just going to pick one of them, pick the course that you are currently enrolled in, and then this is the view that you see. It opens up in the dashboard view, which is just kind of our pretty overview. It gives us a calendar with some due dates, um, any comments or announcements that may have been made will pop up, and you can read those there. Upcoming assignments and this, when they're due. Overall results just kind of gives you a bar graph of visual progress, how many homework assignments you have, how many you've actually submitted, um, and then any announcements that I may have posted will occur here. You also can click your actual announcement tab on the left to find some announcements. But the most important tabs that we'll be using, especially in this course, is the module tab. So you'll click module one and section 2.1 is going to be the first assignment in this particular course. Uh, once you click 2.1 you will come over here to the right and you will see this blue link. The little blue links are always your video notes and they're your documents so you want to print your blank notes so you will click it and print it. Once you've printed it then you will come watch this YouTube video. Basically this is your lecture and the this is me working the videos, the problems that are on the notes. So basically write what's in the video on the document notes and that's your lecture. After you finish taking the notes, then you want to go and do the homework assignment. So we did notes on section 2.1. We will then come and click our homework and go do the assignment on section 2.1 and you can see these are labeled in weeks so we'll know week one we need to complete all of these assignments week two so on and so forth so depending on your particular course and the schedule that's marked out but for this example we'll do section 2.1 homework let's see if it'll let us go to it I'll click section one I will work this problem if I if I get it wrong Let's just say I think the answer is 2. It'll tell me no, it's incorrect, and give me a hint. It'll let me try it again. I got it wrong again. It'll give me a hint. The third time I get it wrong, it will give me the correct answer, and then the answer that I chose. At that point, it marks it wrong and lets me move on to number 2. If at any point in time I want to go back and correct number 1, because I can better my grade at any time, I will just come down here to the similar exercise, and it will allow me to redo it. So then I put my answer in, it tells me I'm correct, and you can see that it marked it correct. So keep that in mind. When you save, it will save the problems and where you left off, so you don't have to complete a full homework assignment each time. Um, and worry about it not saving. So it'll save each particular um, problem within each lesson. So I've passed this section. Let's assume I pass it. My, I will then move on to section 2.4. Print the video notes. Print this document out. After I print it, I will click the YouTube video and watch all the YouTube videos for that section. And then go back to my homework. Complete section 2.4 homework. Continuing on um, with this same procedure till you've completed all the assignments that are due each week. Tests and quizzes are going to be in this tab. You will access them here. Uh, the grade book is also something you may be interested in. It lets you see your overall score, but you'll want to make sure you click entire course to date so it gives you the um, cumulative grade that you are up to date. Then you can click overall score and it lets you see your homework scores, your quizzes, and your test grades, and their category weights, and just lets you see your grade at any point in time. A multimedia library is where an actual e-version of your textbook, let's say we wanted to look at section um, 2.1, so we'll do chapter 2, our first homework assignment was 2.1, let's say I didn't really um, understand it and I wanted to look in my textbook, 
you can pull up your e version of this. It's taking just a minute. Um, and this is exactly what your textbooks looks like. So this is a nice feature. And so you can thumb through your textbook, arrow over to the next page, look at some sample problems, or you can even work some of the problems in the back of the book. I mean at the back of the section. Like here's some section 2.1 problems, some sample problems. If you click this tab, it'll let you even work a few of the sample problems and kind of get a feel for um, if you're understanding it a little better. So those are some real nice features that you have. Let's close out of those that you may want to use. And those are the most important things that you'll use, especially these module tabs. That's uh, pretty much what you should be doing each week, give you a little bit of an idea of different things you can use in My Math Lab. And there's plenty more resources. You can help yourself to them, but those are the main ones that you'll need and have access to. And your attendance um, for each week is going to be marked by if you completed all the homework assignments that are due for that week. So... Hopefully this is helpful to you and get started.